But first at six, ever since Carolina Panthers owner David Tepper bought the team in 2018, fans have been waiting on him to announce plans to build a new stadium. And one of the key sites rumored to be the Panthers' new home is the Charlotte Pipe and Foundry. Well, looking live now at the Bank of America Stadium, just gorgeous view out there right now from our Arlington camera between the shadow of the stadium and just across the street there at the Pipe and Foundry site, we find our Fox 46 chief business correspondent, Taylor Young. Taylor, what does a new rezoning proposal tell us about the future plans for the site? Well, Alicia, this topic is actually up next on the agenda tonight for the city of Charlotte to talk about and possibly vote on. Now, what this proposal tells us is that the owner of this property wants to rezone it from an industrial zone, which is what it has been for decades here in Charlotte, into a mixed-use development. That would allow special events like games to take place here. Bank of America Stadium and home of the Carolina Panthers has been a fixture in Charlotte's Uptown since 1996. Lots of memories. Fans like Kirsten Chandler growing up attending games inside of one of the oldest stadiums in the NFL and home of the city's new MLS team. It's really beautiful. Um, you know, I I mean, overall, I feel like, you know, it's it's huge. It brings a lot of money to Uptown Charlotte. But Carolina Panthers owner David Tepper has discussed building a new home for his team, eyeing a 55-acre plot of land just four lanes over from the current stadium. I mean, that'd be good for the city, but I don't really feel like it's necessary, but it'd be good. The property, which borders West Moorhead Street, is owned by the Charlotte Pipe and Foundry Company. Last year, the company announced it would be relocating its hub to Stanley County after nearly a century in Charlotte. Now it's hoping to turn this plot of land into a mixed-use development, which allows for restaurants, hotels, and a stadium. Why? <laughs> I guess why? Like, what's the point of building an entire new stadium and wasting the money, I guess? The potential move has gotten some backing from city councilors, but the question that remains, how would it be funded? Tepper, whose net worth is $14.5 billion, according to Forbes, says he's not building a new stadium alone. We're not even that good right now. We're good, but we're not that good to be buying a new stadium. <laughs> no championships. And again, this proposal is being discussed any minute now, and city staff have recommended that the city pass this proposal. Of course, when that vote comes in, we'll bring it to you the latest. For now, reporting live in Uptown, Taylor Young, Fox 46.